Conserving our salmon. Wild Atlantic salmon make an epic journey through the North Atlantic before returning to our shores to reproduce. But in recent years, the number of fish returning to freshwater has declined throughout their range. In 2016, Scotland introduced the Conservation of Salmon Regulations. These complement existing voluntary local measures to manage Atlantic salmon stocks. Management involves using data collected by anglers and scientists to categorise the conservation status of individual river stocks on an annual basis using international approaches and standards. So, how do we work out the conservation status of a particular salmon stock? First, we need to work out how many fish there are. Some rivers have devices that count the number of fish passing through. We compare these counts with the number of fish caught above the counter and use this information to estimate the number of fish on rivers where no fish counters exist. If 10% of the fish are caught on a river with a counter, we can multiply the catch in a river without a counter by 10 to estimate the total number of fish. We also consider other factors, like river flow, which is known to affect rod catch. Next, we need to know how many eggs those fish will deposit. This means figuring out how many are females, and also what sorts of sizes and ages they are. The number of eggs a female salmon deposits really depends on how big and old she is. Using historical data, we then work out how many eggs we need to make sure we maintain stocks at internationally agreed sustainable levels. The total count of eggs we estimated previously is compared to this target. We do the assessment many times over, using data for the past five years. The average chance the targets are met over those five years is then used to categorise salmon stocks. Grade 3 rivers are those rivers where salmon stocks are thought to be in poor conservation status. All salmon caught by fisheries must be released. Grade 2 rivers are those with a moderate conservation status. Salmon may be retained by fisheries, although catch and release should be promoted strongly. Salmon may also be retained in Grade 1 rivers, which are those categorised as having a good conservation status. There may also be local management measures encouraging catch and release in these areas. You can look up this year's river grading for your area and find more information about the process of determining conservation status on our website.